demonstrated then for you some examples of chemical changes just by mixing liquids together and getting the color to change and therefore making a new substance. But you can't just mix together any two chemicals and say, oh, look, there's a chemical that made a new substance. It doesn't work like that, you see. One of the most important things that you have to understand with chemical changes is that they are, all, they are always involved with an energy change. And there are different types of energy. That was energy of mixing. You can have heat energy, electrical energy, light energy, mechanical, kinetic energy. And in this most curious experiment here, even musical energy. Watch carefully as I play in the key of D minor. I'm not here, I am merely here, please, dear ladies and gentlemen, children, I am merely here to explain for you the principles of science. Applause, we can wait at the other end of the spectrum. So, what I have said, why does this work? Well, because you see, when I play the violin, I am generating musical frequencies which have special uh, functions, they have harmonic vibrations, and the air, uh, the energy is, pro is projected in an organized manner, uh, interacting with the molecules which are all vibrating, strike up the sympathetic resonance frequencies, the activation energy is overcome, and the reaction takes place. So that, in a nutshell, is the summary. Now, what I've done, I've showed you an experiment with magic medicine. I've showed you an experiment, some experiments with magic water, we could say. And now, of course, I'm moving on to my favorite topic, which I've told you, which is, of course, fire. And I intend to show you some experiments. I intend to show you some experiments in which we look at some different types of fire and explain how the chemist has used his knowledge, 